Today, it is round four of resin versus filament printing. Today, we're looking at the cost of materials and consumables. Welcome back to Thinking Badger Crafts. This is Dave. Today, on 3D Printing Basics, it's round four of resin versus filament printing. We're looking at the material costs to print, as well as some of the consumables that you will be needing to purchase regularly in order to run your printer. As of now, the score stands with resin with a point in print quality, uh, the filament printer with a point in printer cost, and it was a tie on print speed. So now let's look at the material costs. The most common filament used on a filament printer is PLA. That is the one that you'll find the most often, the most frequently, and is used by the most people. It's a great material. I have very few issues with it. Pretty much everything I print is in PLA, with very few exceptions. Now, as for the cost of PLA, it can range. Just like anything else, you get what you pay for. There's cheap filament out there that will be okay. There's great filament out there, they'll do great, but it's expensive. Uh, here's kind of a little snapshot. If you see, there's a whole bunch of different varieties of filament out there. I mean, I've got here different filaments with wood that's in it, different ones with that are metallic colored, clear, glow in the dark. Uh, you got TPU, which is a different material, which is flexible. There's ABS, PTG, tons of different materials that all do different things, different hardnesses, different costs. So if you go on Amazon and look, the price can range from anywhere from $14 or $15 up to over $40 if you're looking for the expensive stuff. Uh, the most expensive filament I think I've bought is either my carbon fiber one. It's got some carbon fiber inlay mixed in with the filament or it might be one of my wood ones. I do want to mention one other place. I Most of my pricing has come from Amazon, but I did find GST3D. I found them when I backed a Kickstarter a couple months ago. They were the person's recommended for bulk filament. Looked them up. It's PLA Plus, very similar to PLA. Some say it's better. Some people don't like it. Uh, I got 10 boxes for about $100. It's about $10, 9 $8 each. I think I got the $9.99 deal, which they actually have going on right now for Valentine's Day. Now for resin. For me, a one liter bottle of resin, which is right here, is comparable to a one kilogram spool of filament, which is kind of the standard size. So looking at the resin costs online, we can see right over here actually, it's about $30 plus for for a liter of resin. And that's going to be the, the standard price. It's hard to find it much cheaper than that. Now we're going to look at the consumables. The main consumable you will have for a filament printer is nozzles. You go through some nozzles. They get clogged, jammed. Um, if, if your leveling's way off, they might run into your bed and cause issues there. They'll be what you're changing out the most. Thankfully, they're very inexpensive. Uh, here's a 25 pack for about $11. Simple, cheap, easy. The main um, consumable you'll have for your resin printers is FEP sheets. It's what goes to the bottom of the vat of your printer so that the light can come up through it and cure your resin. Uh, here's a five pack I bought for $16. So it's a little more expensive, but I would say if you're handling your resin correctly, these will last longer than a nozzle. Just in my experience, I could be handling that wrong, but that's just how it is. So looking at these two criteria, at these two subjects, the material and the consumables, if you search around, you can find filament for cheap and the consumables aren't that much. So I would say filament wins. There are other add-ons for both machines you can get, but we're not looking at that. As far as consumables go and materials go, filament wins this one. So with that, the score currently stands with filament at two, 
in printer cost and material consumables cost in resin at one in print quality with that tie we have in printer speed. Uh, the next video I'll be making will be talking about uh, once the printer has finished printing, what does that print need to be ready to be presented? What, what has to be done to it before you can paint it or move on to the next step. Now, if you have any questions, please comment down below. If you like these videos, please subscribe, like the video, come back and watch us some more. We're going to try and keep continuing these videos and teaching more and giving you the information that we've learned through all this crafting and thanks for watching.